Hi, for this video, what I want to do is talk to you about the parent function of a cosine wave or a cosine curve. Okay, and so what's happening here with the cosine is we're basically taking the unit circle and we're going to stretch it out over an x, y axis. Okay, so what's going to happen is after I draw my x and f of x, I will show you what we're going to be using in the unit circle. All right, so what we're going to be doing is graphing this in a coordinate plane. I'm going to be using radians for this video. Um, you do want to make sure that when you're graphing that you know whether you are supposed to be graphing in radians or degrees, because if you're using radians, it uses much smaller numbers to label down here. If you're using degrees, it does take 360 degrees to get through one full rotation of the circle or an entire period. So. I could use every single point on the unit circle, but I really need only four important points, or really five because I want to complete a full rotation. So I'm going to use the radian 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and then once I complete a full rotation, I'm to 2 pi. So that's what I'm going to use to set up my um, scale on the bottom of my x-axis. So I start at 0 and then I have pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and then once I get to a full rotation I'm at 2 pi. Had I gone um, sorry, clockwise I would have negative pi over 2 which corresponds to 3 pi over 2, negative pi which corresponds to pi, negative 3 pi over 2, which corresponds to pi over 2, and then I get a full rotation and I'm back to negative 2 pi. Okay. As far as this axis goes, the only thing it goes up to is 1 and negative 1. So if you want to label your scale, 1 and negative 1 is all that we're going to need. All right, so what we're going to do, like I said, we are going to use the unit circle to help us with our points for cosine for the parent function. So we're going to start at 0, and then we go to pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, back to 2 pi. So if you remember from the unit circle that it's always in the form cosine comma sine, so cosine is always going to be our x coordinate. So when our radian measure is 0, our x coordinate is 1. When we go to pi over 2, my x coordinate is 0, so that means that it's going to be on the x axis at pi over 2. When I get a, to halfway around the circle, my x coordinate is negative 1, so that means we're going to have a low point at negative 1. And then we're back to 0 at 3 pi over 2, and at 2 pi we complete one full period. The period is just how long it takes for the pattern to repeat, so it does take us 2 pi to go fully around. Okay. Had I gone the other way, if I went counterclockwise, if I were talking about the negative values, at negative pi over 2 I'm at 0, at negative pi I'm at negative 1, at negative 3 pi over 2 I'm back to 0, and then at negative 2 pi, I'm back up to 1. So this would be two full periods that I graphed this on. It does continue forever and ever. I'm just stopping it after two full periods. But it would go back down and complete. Uh, it would just keep repeating this pattern and over and over again. So the domain for the parent function is negative infinity to positive infinity because I can keep doing this forever and ever. There is no restrictions. The range only goes as high or low as um, these points here. So negative 1 is my low point, positive 1 is my high point. So my range goes from negative 1 inclusive to positive 1. Okay. Um, if you understand what the parent function looks like and you know that the points that it starts at 1, 0, negative 1, 0, back to 1, it makes it very easy to graph cosine functions. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.